Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this pause question on binary search. So it's a simple binary search in which you are given a sorted array of numbers and you are given Q queries and in this sequence of numbers you have to find out whether this number is present or not. If present, what's it, what is the index at which it is present? So as you can see in this input, uh, 7 is present at this index. Okay, if the numbers are repeated, then that's the most important question thing is you have to find out the first occurrence so if more than one number is occurrence you have to find out the first occurrence so is 7 find out yes so 7 is find out 0 1 2 3 uh, 0 1 2 so sorry so uh, 7 is find out at 2 then 10 is not find out so minus 1 uh, 4 is not find uh, 4 is find out at first index and then 2 is find out as 0 index so this is a simple question so what we'll do is we do binary search like on this we first go to the middle one and check whether this is equal to our search number what on which number we are querying so let's see in this example we are querying on the number 2 whether it is present or not and at what index so we will see that when we go to the middle yeah 2 is present at here but we will check also like whether 2 is also present on the left side of this number so it will show that yes 2 is present on the left side so it is not the first occurrence so then we will continue our binary search we will move to this index so we will move to this index and we will see that yeah 2 is also present here but 2 is not present before it so this is the first occurrence so that's how we will do the binary search here and uh, yeah so let's start with the code and I hope you know binary search. So if not, then see how we go through this code. Okay. So the first thing is we will require uh, n and t, the number of input and the queries. We will do query q. And then after taking query, we will make a vector array of a, and uh, we will input all the numbers in it from 0 to n okay and it is given that all numbers are sorted in this array okay. now what we do is we will do binary search so on the q queries what we have to do is we have to first input the number so let the number be x and we will do binary search on it so how we can do binary search on it? We will take the both indices of those end. So the last, the left one is zero, and the right one is the length minus one, last index. Okay. Then what we will find out? We will do a while loop till length till length is less than or equal to r okay so now when we are doing this for loop what we will do is uh, yeah we will find the middle element mid is equal to L plus right minus left divided by 2 and then after finding out the middle element what we will have to check we will have to check with whether at this index the mid index the element is equal to a search index and our search index is x so if it is equal to x then what we have to do is we will have to check whether there is another element of that same value x before it so if there is also index present before it so we have to check like mid uh, mid minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 whether it means that this is not the last index and after making checking that it is not the last index we have to check that a mid minus 1 is equal to x if this is also true what we have to do is we will shift the right index to mid minus 1 okay else if this condition is not true what we have to do is we will just uh, because this is the mid value and we know like this is the answer so we can also take this mid value out
and uh, or else what we can do is we'll, we we have to just print out that index if we found that so we will do a see out that mid value and uh, we will do a flag it means that we have printed out our answer and we will break out this of this loop okay but if this condition is not true that our middle element is not equal to x so there can be two conditions uh, x would be greater than our a of mid if this condition is happened with it means our searched value is greater than our middle value so we have to shift our left index so left equal to mid plus 1 else right equal to mid minus 1 and uh, yeah so this is how bind search works but if flag is not equal to zero so we have to also make a flag var variable flag equal to zero at the start it means that we have find out our element and a of mid is equal to equal to k is equal to equal to x then we will print out our element if we have not printed out before else if our flag is not equal to zero then we will print out that minus one we don't find out that index <coughs> sorry yeah. so this is the simple code for binary search let's try it Okay, what I have done? Oh, sorry, I have done the. Mid is not declared. Okay, so we can make. Let's check. Five, four, two, four, seven, seven, nine. First query is seven, and ten, then four, and two. Two minus one, one zero. Yeah, the code is running perfectly fine. Think so, so we can check it. So, if we find out that the left element is also same, then we will not break out of this loop. Yeah, as you can see, this binary search question is accepted. If you have any doubts, please mention down in the comment box, and uh, please hit the like button and subscribe button if you like this video. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.